Close your eyes and take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change the rhythm, but stay with the breath. Focus on any one spot where it's clearest in the body. And try to settle in right there. So you're with the breath all the way in, all the way out. You're giving the mind a foundation. Because we live in this world with lots of wind. There's the wind of material gain and material loss. Status, loss of status. People who like you, people who don't like you. Pleasure and pain. And if the mind doesn't have a good foundation, it gets blown all around by these things. It loses its sense of north and south, east and west. In other words, it's very easy to lose your sense of what's right and what's wrong. Somebody gives you some money, somebody gives you some praise, and all of a sudden their ideas seem to be really nice. You gain status, and all of a sudden you think of all the things you could do with your status that you couldn't have done before. In some cases you do good, in other cases you just abuse your power if you don't have a foundation. This is why the mind needs a foundation, to re keep remembering that things of the world come and they go. And what's left is the results of the actions that you've done, your karma. That lasts for a long time. So you want to make sure that the long-lasting results are really good. So you think about it. when you have material gain, what's the best use in terms of developing good qualities of the mind, doing the most good for the world? That then becomes your good karma. The same with status. You gain some status. People listen to you. Okay, well, what do you want to tell them to do? Tell them to do good things. Use your influence to have them do good things. And when people praise you and criticize you, you have to ask yourself, well, what, is it, what do they want out of me? When they're praising me, why are they praising me? If they're criticizing, why are they criticizing? Sometimes it's the people who criticize you are the ones who are your best friends. As the Buddha said, if someone reliable points out your faults, regard that person as someone who's pointed out treasure, because now that you have something to work with. Because we tend to turn a blind eye to our faults. Here's someone shining a light in an area where we've been blind before. So that person is someone we should, we should be thankful for, be grateful for. So if the mind has a good foundation, it can take wealth, status, praise, criticism, pleasure and pain, and get good things out of them. They're not ends in and of themselves. They're tools, tools for developing the mind. And you can develop the mind in different directions. Well, if you develop them in a good direction, then you've got the best use out of these things. But the mind, to get the good use out of these things, it has to have a place where it can stand apart from the world a little bit to keep its perspective. That's why we stay with the breath. But it says, be with the breath in and of itself. Putting aside greed and distress with reference to the world. That's the formula. So you step outside of the world. And when you're outside of the world, that's when you can look back on it and see what's really important. Otherwise, you get in the world and you get pushed around. And then you get to wonder, why is it that that happiness I want out of life is not coming? Well, it's because you haven't been following the path to true happiness. You've been allowing yourself to get pushed around in different directions, on the path, sometimes, sometimes off the path. It's hard to make any real progress that way. So don't let the world push you around. Have a strong sense of what's right and what's wrong, what's for your long-term welfare and happiness. And the meditation gives you a good foundation for seeing that. So meditate every day. You can brush your teeth every day. Why can't you look after your mind every day? Because the mind is much more important, much more valuable. If your teeth wear out, you can get false teeth, implants. But there's no implant for a, a mind that's gotten off course, aside from turning it around and getting it back on course again. So look after it every day.